وبشر الصابرين الذين إذا أصابتهم مصيبة قالوا إنا لله وإنا وإنا إليه راجعون. This prayer we say whenever we hear of the death of a person, we're commanded by God Almighty. To repeat, truly to God we belong, and truly to Him we will return. We're on our journey. We are spiritual beings going through a human experience, and then our journey continues. It never ends. It's not the end for Nelson Mandela. At the last, the rabbi said he's going to the highest levels, no doubt. And God says, give glad tidings for those who are patient, who acted patiently, who turned an aching pain to forgiveness. And not only they fulfilled for themselves, they fulfilled for others. And this is why we remind ourselves as we say farewell to this great man. I agree with Dr. Dubey, a saint. There are people, but there are people as well. There are people who live for themselves, and there are people who live for others. And he is one of that category. And it is a legacy to remember for us, working in non-profit, volunteering, to be inspired by this great man who always kept the smile even in times of adversity and hardship. I quote him saying, in describing his life, I was not a messiah, but an ordinary man who had become a leader because of extraordinary circumstances. Top of humility, humbleness. I asked our South African congregants, and I asked one of our, one of my best volunteers, I said, what do you know of Nelson Mandela when you grew up? He said, I said, just give me one word for him. Don't give me too many things. He said, humility. And I hear this this morning. It is humility. As Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, those who are humble are the highest in the eyes of God. And he is high. And today, all of us come with love and respect for this man. Some of us never met him. Actually, many of us never met him. And some of us had the encounter. Like my friend, Zeb, I asked him earlier, please tell me three things you know about Nelson Mandela. He said, reconciliation, social justice, and compassion. I was searching, like probably some of you did, of his quotes and what he said in some of his speeches. He didn't speak a lot. He was not a talker like many of us, but he acted more. He spoke less and acted more, and that is the sign of a wise man. But he said about his freedom, and after 27 years, of injustice and prison. He says for the free, or for to be free, is not merely to cast off one's chains, but to live in a way that respects and enhances the freedom of others. Let's carry that legacy among ourselves. He is inspiring us, all of us from different faiths. This transcends religion. This is above and beyond religion. This is very deep, even deeper. It is a spiritual connection we have with him, and this is what we are here this morning, connecting with one another, carrying that torch, and we pray to God Almighty to bless his soul. Que Dieu bénisse son âme, en paix hommage à cet homme qui est un homme formidable, qui a lutté contre l'injustice, contre l'intolérance, contre le racisme, contre l'apartheid, et il nous inspire aujourd'hui. Il est un symbole historique. C'est une personnalité qui va rester tout le temps et dans l'histoire. Et son nom a, va être écrit dans l'histoire et, et, et c'est notre tâche d'instruire nos enfants et la génération prochaine et prendre des leçons de sagesse de cette grande personne. Que Dieu le bénisse. Merci bien.